Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mackenzie and this is my channel, Mackenzie J. So today my video is a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, on my channel, I usually focus on fashion, um, clothing. I do a lot of Stitch Fix unboxing and try on videos. And on my last video, I asked my um, viewers how they would feel about me doing a weight loss video because I am doing, like most people with the new year, I am, I have a goal to lose about 20 to 25 pounds. And I figured since I'm doing it anyway, if people were interested, I could kind of uh, video my progress and do like weekly updates. So I got a lot of positive feedback from that and a lot of people wanna see me do it. So here we go, we are doing it. Um, so today's video, I am taping, this is the end of my week one, okay? So um, again, I mentioned that I'm trying to lose 20 to 25 pounds. I will be honest with you guys, brutally honest with you, and even and I'm going to show you before pictures, and even though it makes me very vulnerable, I'm going to do it because number one, I think it's going to keep me accountable, and number two, I think it'll help motivate people too. So a little bit about me, I am 5'7", and I, right now, I hate to say it, but I started out what, on New Year's Day 162 pounds. Um, that's a lot for me. I, this, this, I always gain weight during the holidays, but this holiday, um, we found out unfortunately that my mom has cancer. So I was emotionally eating and I gained more than I usually do during the holidays. Um, so that being said, 162 is what I started with on New Year's day. And I'm going to tell you in my weekly updates, I'm going to tell you how much weight I lost each week. I'm going to tell you what I ate each day. And I'm going to tell you um, what exercise I did each day. That way, if you guys want to try to mimic and do what I did and see if you get the same results, then you'll have all the information you need. Um, if I ever don't tell you all the specifics and you want to know more, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I will give you, you know, if you want to know what brand of tortillas I use. You can put it in the comments and I will definitely answer you back. Um, so let's start out by I'm going to tell you guys this week I lost 4.8 pounds. I'm pretty happy with that. So my current weight is one, I'm looking down so I don't get it wrong, 157.2 I was this morning. So it's Saturday morning that I'm taping this. I started last Saturday, New Year's Day. So I lost 4.8 pounds and I'm 157.2. I'm still a long way away from my goal. My goal is at least 140. Um, and I would love to be 135, but right now 140 is my goal and I have a long way to go. But losing 4.8 pounds in the first week, I think is amazing. Um, so on the screen right now, I'm going to show you guys how the weight went down each day. I use this app. It's called Renfo, R-E-N-P-H-O, I think it is. And I actually have the Renfo scale. So what I do is I just get on the scale and it goes right to my app every morning when I weigh myself. So you can see how it went down each day. Um, and so I'm going to tell you guys now what I ate, first of all. Um, before I tell you what I eat, I want you guys to know everybody is different. The, I've been dieting for years now. I've always been up and down with my weight. And what I find works best for me is I cannot say I can't have something. So I can't do Adkins or low carb. I can't, I just can't do that. I need to be able to have a cookie or, um, you know, I need to be able to have pasta. I, I'm not a great eater to begin with, so I need to be able to have those options of things that I like. So what works for me is calorie restriction. So I can eat whatever I want as long as I stay within a specific calorie deficit. And what I like to do is I usually like to stay um, somewhere between like 1100 and 1200 calories. It's That's pretty low. Um, and some people will see this and they'll say you're not eating enough. And some people will say this and everybody's going to have their own opinion. I'm telling you what works for me. So for me, I, to lose weight, I stay between 1100 and 1200 calories a day. That's me. Everybody's different. 
Something interesting I also found just by playing around the last couple of months is that intermittent fasting works for a lot of people and for me it does not. I found that um, if I cut out my breakfast that I always eat when I was doing intermittent fasting, even if I stayed in that calorie mark, I still wasn't losing weight or I wasn't losing weight as quickly. So um, IF or intermittent fasting is not what I do. Um, okay, so I told you about my calorie restrictions. The big thing is you just have to be in a calorie deficit. And um, that's how I find that I lose my weight. So another thing I'm gonna tell you about my eating guys is that some people can't eat the same thing like every day or you know has to have they have to have all this variety in their diet that's not me okay i am a very simple girl and i can if i like it i can eat it probably every day and i do and so you might not be able to follow my diet plan because you might you're like oh my god how does she do that every day fine everybody's different i get it i get it i get it i get it i'm gonna just tell you what works for me um, I will also tell you that I usually do once I get lower after the initial couple of weeks, then I kind of like venture out into other things. I'm not afraid to like, um, you know, if they're a little bit, if the calories are a little bit higher, or if I'm not exactly sure I'll venture, but I, I really try to be strict the first couple of weeks. So that being said, sorry for all the rambling every day. I have almost every day. I have the same breakfast and lunch every single day. So for breakfast, I have multi-grain Cheerios with milk, obviously. I have the recommended serving size, but you know what? Sometimes I want more and I have a little bit more. But on average, so my multi-grain Cheerios are on average, I'm just looking for the calories here, guys. They are, with the milk, it's roughly about 270 calories, my breakfast. So multi-grain Cheerios, a bowl of multi-grain Cheerios with milk. My lunch every day is the same also. What I eat is a turkey wrap. I found these wraps that I love. Like I said, if you want more info, put it in the comments. But the wraps that I eat are only 50 calories each. So the wrap is 50 calories. I use a serving size of honey turkey breast. I don't do any cheese. And since mayo is a ton of calories, I do Miracle Whip. And I like Miracle Whip. Some people are like, ugh, gross. I actually like Miracle Whip. So that's what I have. The wrap, the turkey, the Miracle Whip. And then I also have one serving size of barbecue baked Lay's because guys, I am somebody who always has to have a side with my meals, like dinner. I'm like, I can't just eat meat. I have to have some kind of side. So it's the wrap and the serving of barbecue baked Lay's chips. And that is 270 calories. So my breakfast and my lunch together is about 540 calories. Okay, and now my dinners, again, I mix it up a little tiny bit, but like a lot of times I'll eat the same thing. So I'll tell you what I had every day this week for dinner. All right, so starting on Saturday, New Year's Day, we didn't feel like cooking, so we ordered pizza from a pizza place. So I had uh, two slices of pizza, and I estimated that to be about 500 calories for the pizza. That was my dinner on Saturday night, which was New Year's Day night. On Sunday, the next day, I should tell you on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I had the same dinner because it's one of my favorite dinners. And I, what I had was a chicken burrito with a little bit of rice on the side. So my chicken burrito is a five ounce, five ounces of chicken. Um, and then you cube up the five ounces of chicken. I use a little bit of sour cream and then obviously the tortilla and then um, half a cup of yellow rice. So if you equal that together, that's about 550 calories for that dinner. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I had about 550 calories for the burrito. Wednesday night, I had a DiGiorno pizza. So it's a, it's a margarita DiGiorno pizza. My husband and I split the pizza in half. So when you eat half of the pizza, which is a good amount of food, it's 540 calories. So that's what I had on Wednesday night. On Thursday night, we got, um, we had pulled pork. And um, we, you know, we can make the pulled pork ourselves, but when we're busy or trying to diet, sometimes we'll just buy it. And the brand we got this time is Curly's. So Curly's pulled pork and we split it. So the container that it came in, my husband and I split it for half of the container. 
Um, and we also had half a cup of rice with it. It was 500 calories each. So 500 calories on Thursday for the pulled pork dinner. And then Friday, which was last night, I had um, one thin cut uh, chicken breast. And then we um, lightly breaded it with panko breading and we fried it in the air fryer. So you don't use, the air fryer is like our best friend. So you don't have to use any oil or anything like that. So um, one thin sliced chicken breast, lightly breaded panko breadcrumbs in the air fryer. And then we had uh, the Nor creamy pesto pasta. It's like the pasta sides. They come in the bag. The brand is Nor K-N-O-R-R, -R, and it's creamy pesto. So my husband and I made a bag of that and we split it. Um, so that's what I had. And that was, that was less. That was only 450 calories. Um, and obviously today is Saturday and we haven't had dinner yet. So I can't tell you what I had for dinner, but I can tell you my breakfast and my lunch were the same as every day. <laughs> um, so I know that I am not a great eater. I know that I'm not eating a lot of fresh fruits and veggies. I'm not making home cooked meals, honestly, to each their own. And if, if you're somebody who eats a lot of fruits and veggies and home cooked meals, that's amazing. That's awesome. That's just not me. Um, and this is just to give you an example. I am a busy, working mom of three kids. Life gets crazy and this is just what works for me. Um, so yeah, so that was what I ate. Again, any questions, just let me know. Put it in the comments and I will answer brands, um, quantities, portion size, anything you need to know, I can, I can answer it in the comments. All right, workouts. So guys, I have a Peloton bike, which I got last year, and I absolutely love it. I love it. Before I got the Peloton bike, I was doing Peloton workouts on just like a, a, gener a random generic bike that we had bought, because let's face it, Peloton is freaking expensive. Um, so you don't have to have a Peloton bike to do these workouts, and you don't have to have a bike at all. Um, but I'm going to tell you what workouts I did. So my I do the bike workout and then I also do strength workouts. The strength workouts do happen to be through the Peloton app. But again, you can find your own workouts. I'm just going to give you like a basis of what I did. So on Saturday, which was New Year's Day, I haven't been on the bike in a really long time. This is my first time getting on the bike. So I just did a 10 minute climb ride. 10 minutes. That's all I did on Saturday. Not a lot. Sunday, the next day, I felt a little bit better that I had been on the bike the day before. So I did a 15 minute 90s ride, like just nice and light, 15 minutes of cardio. That's all I did, 15 minute bike ride. On Monday, I was sore from my first two days back on the bike. And to be honest with you, I had no motivation. So all I did was a five minute meditation. It, Peloton has meditation classes and I just wanted to, if you're a Pelotoner, you know I wanted to get that blue dot. So I did five minutes of meditation. On Tuesday, so Tuesday was my workout day. I had a lot of time. I wasn't that busy at work. Um, I am working from home, so it's nice because I can put in a workout here, workout there. But so Tuesday was really my big workout day. So this is what I did, guys. And again, I broke it up into little chunks, so it wasn't like two hours of work. So on Tuesday, I did a 10-minute core class. 10 minute arms and light weights. So it's like when you're using uh, three pound weights and to tire out your muscles with the arms. I did a 10 minute glutes and leg class. I did a 10 minute yoga class. And then I ended it with a 15 minute low impact ride. So although I just said a bunch of things, if you break it down, it was really 10 minutes here, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes here. It wasn't a lot. Um, and on the screen right now, um, if I can figure it out, I'm going to be showing you screenshots of exactly which classes I did. Just in case you're a Pelotoner like me and you want to do the same classes, you could try to do my week this week, next week, and you can do all the classes. I'm showing it on the screen right now for you. All right. Wednesday, I did a 15 minute core class. I did a 15 minute bar class and then a 10 minute yoga class. So Tuesday and Wednesday were my biggest workout days. Um, Thursday, I guess Thursday wasn't bad either. Thursday, I did a 10 minute core class. I did a 20 minute Pilates class and I did a 15 minute 90s pop ride. Again, I'm doing these all from my living room or my office where my bike is um, and I'm doing them as I can. If I have time, I do the workouts all in a row. If I don't, maybe I'll wake up, I'll do the 10 minute core. Then after lunch, maybe I'll do the 10 minute legs. I do it where I can and that's key. 
Um, okay, and then Friday, which was yesterday, all I did was a 20 minute pop ride. So a 20 minute cycling ride and that's it. Today's Saturday and I have not yet done a workout. I will do something. Um, not sure what yet. I will probably, if I can, I'd like to do like maybe a 15 minute ride and a 10 minute class of some sorts, maybe 10 minute arms or something like that. So that's my workout ride or that's, excuse me, that's my workouts that I did this week. So I told you my beginning weight. I told you that I lost almost five pounds this week and I just explained to you what I did to do it, my eating and my exercising. Now guys, I'm going to show you probably the most embar embarrassing pictures of me ever. I cannot believe I'm putting these all over YouTube, all over the internet, but I feel like it's important to show you guys before and hopefully I will have amazing, amazing, amazing um, after pictures, but you're doing it along with me. So I can't say, oh, I'm going to have great results because we're not there yet. <laughs> so let's hope, let's cross our fingers. So right now, guys, I'm just going to show you my before, a video of before um, from each angle. So I'm going to show you that now and then we'll do a quick recap and that's it. All right, so you guys just saw my before video. Um, honestly, I'm embarrassed to show you guys that. I, uh, I've i had three kids, two of them twins, so I've had two in my belly at the same time, and obviously my stomach and my love handles are my problem area. I am not unhappy with my face, I'm not unhappy with my arms, my legs I'm okay with, it's just all my midsection, I just feel like it all just spills out there, as you can see in the before pictures. So that is the area that I'm hoping to lose the most weight and tone up the most. Um, I just hate how it looks. And um, I'm glad that you guys are here with me to go on this journey with me together. Please make sure that you subscribe so that you can see the weekly updates because if you're not subscribed, you might not know that I posted another update and I want you guys to stick with me um, to see the progress I'm making. I hope I can motivate you and with you guys watching, you'll motivate me because I know I'm going to have to report back every week and if I don't have great results, well, it's not going to be great. So... <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you'll like this video. Subscribe and I will be back next week with my update, how much weight I lost, hopefully lost. And um, just thanks for watching. Bye.